What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released 2023-24 EPL Prism International Box from Panini. These dropped pretty quietly on third-party websites for around 200 bucks or so, and we're here to show you guys what this product is all about. So let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and really, really helps us grow and helps us put more content out there like this for you guys and of course when you click on uh, ebay search links on this page uh, and make a purchase it can result in us earning uh, a commission which also supports us in the long run as part of the ebay partner network just an fyi so let's get all these packs out all right i'll show you guys the back of the box because there is some info on it there it is, might want to pause it to read everything exactly as you like, but it is a 5 by 12 format, 60 cards total. We should be getting three silver prisms, two international exclusive prisms, and one red star autograph per box on average. Of course, some boxes, you know, worst, worst case scenario, you're not going to get an autograph, but, you know, Penny will make up for it if you do submit a ticket. And uh, what else? So... We should be seeing either, so other than the auto, we should be seeing either one base pink star, uh, which is not numbered, but technically short print, and one base red star prism numbered to 25, or the most, or the more common scenario, uh, two pink star prisms. And yeah, let's put this in the back over here, and let's see how this first pack is going to treat us. So this is kind of weird, just like this little empty... I don't know. I feel like there should be text here. Does that make sense? Anyway, it's just something that caught my eye. But it looks like a base pack here. And that's going to be a lot of these packs, actually. This feeling is very, very familiar. If you guys can guess which format I'm referring to, let me know in the comments down below before I reveal the answer. But here is pack number two. And it looks like we are getting a pink. So hopefully it's not going to be a dual pink box. But... It is Alexis McAllister. So here is the beautiful Pink Stars prism. The reason why I say beautiful is because it's very, very reminiscent of a lot of trading card hollow patterns from like 20 years ago almost, if you know, you know. But yeah, honestly, I don't think there's going to be anything like too crazy in here. Uh, this product is basically a rebranded and like repackaged uh, T-Mall product that, you know, we've been seeing from Panini. Uh, for the last few years. So here's our first silver. Like I said earlier, we should be getting three of those. And okay, there is our autograph. Hopefully this is a banger. Obviously we're going to set that one to the side. I know you guys absolutely love that. It's your favorite part of the video when we do that. But all right, we got a numbered red star. It looks like it's going to be Man City. Best case scenario, this is a Phil Foden or Holland. I mean, there's a lot of good players on Man City. So, Manchester City it is. Can we guess who it is? It's definitely not Holland. Who is that? Oh, I think I know who that is. That is Yoshko Gvardiol. There it is. The beautiful red star prism. Although we can't really see the stars here as clear. Oh, there we go. As clear as the pink earlier. I'm trying to show it here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Light is hitting it just right. So 18 out of 25, these are going to be numbered. So I have no idea what the print run is going to be on the pinks. Obviously it's going to be much higher than the reds, but we'll never know exactly how many. And they are going to make more of certain players than others. Just to create that sense of chase, of course. And it looks like this is another base pack. Like I said, this is going to be very, very common uh, for a lot of these packs. But... Yeah, getting that nice color match with the red stars is going to be what most of us are going to be looking forward to. But in terms of rookies, if you're still not familiar with them at this point, we've seen all the formats. This is one of them. But the biggest chase, especially from this product, because of the red stars, the nice team colors, of course, to go with Manchester United, is going to be Kobe Mainu. So he's honestly like way ahead of all the other ones. All the other rookies in this set and then you, i mean you have like lewis miley going off of the hype i think the hype is slowly slowly dying down and i think the his cards values are reflecting that and then we have john duran and i think it, on the screen to the left at this point uh you should be seeing all the other 
rookies as well. They're like different tiers. But I don't know. Something just feels like really, really off about this product. Um, I mean, the way it's like formatted. It's basically like in terms of parallels, it's almost exactly like what we saw last year from last year's team all, except we're getting a lot of base. So I think they just, I don't know. They made it feel slightly more like a, I don't know, enjoyable product in my opinion. Like it's not, you don't rip it and then you're done with like five seconds. So, all right, here we go. Autograph time. I would love to get a David Beckham, Terry Henry, uh, Dennis Burkamp, Eric Cantona, anything with like a, an amazing color match to be honest. But I'm pretty sure they made, just like last year, a lot of autos of like Joel Linton or something. I feel like we keep going back to that player because he signs a lot, but who is this going to be? That is definitely not David Beckham. Definitely not Thierry Henry. I don't know. I feel like we pulled this guy's auto for. I feel like this is a Fulham player. Alex Iwobi. And it's slightly off the sticker. So former Arsenal player, but these are not going to be numbered. They are SSP. So there you go, guys. I got one of these autos out of the way for you. So if you're trying to rip one of these out there, you have a slightly, slightly, slightly better opportunity to pull a David Beckham or Thierry Henry auto. So let's do a quick recap. The recap is going to be pretty small, actually. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we're getting three silvers and nothing uh, stellar here. And we had one, well, we were fortunate enough to get one pink star and one numbered red star out of 25. And then we ended with this Alex Iwobi red star auto. Unfortunately, not a color match. But how do we feel about this format? The packaging actually really reminds me and like even like the format of the packs and cards uh, reminds me of like last year's like team all products that they did uh, for select and i mean it does feel like better than the team all boxes from last year you know purely because of the the way they formatted it like i mentioned earlier but still somewhat of a weird format overall uh really curious to see like what panini does with this like international format system like moving forward but I'm pretty sure that similarities with like Tmall products from like previous years like aren't going anywhere. It's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be like rebranded like we see here. But um, I really wish they added a one of one element in this, uh, although a lot of people would probably want less one of ones out there, uh, which is, you know, totally understandable. But uh, a black star one of one, just imagine this in like black prism would be pretty sick, not gonna lie. So at least the uh, auto checklist is like above industry standard. Um, if you guys are kind of looking to chase some of the red star autos from these, but yeah, the pricing does seem a little bit strange to me at this point, 200. I mean, big question mark there. So we'll have to wait and see how the market reacts, but that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more content, group breaks and giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.